I don't know if you know how we, uh, how, how we flow. I will be honest, I don't. Typically with Bogsy and me, he introduces yeah. one team, I introduce the other, and yeah. then we just yeah, kind of yeah, riff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you, exactly. You introduce KSF. That's what I'm saying. Okay, cool. So over on KSF side, we've got the Montana and Yamato. So the Yamato going to be able to bow in and shove giant shells in from any angle. We've got a Venezia, a Moskva, and a Stalingrad, and four destroyers. We've got a double Z-52. What? This is just insanity. Followed up by a Harugumo for mini cruiser type action and a Shimikaze. What's over on the other side? Well, on the other side, we've got just a single Z-52 which you've got to expect is going straight into the B cap because just Hydro, that's going to be its job, sit there in Hydro. Followed up with a Daring and then a Kleber for the long range uh, inf engagements with damage saturation. Then you've got double Moskva, Stalingrad, and a Venezia out there that's hoping to find those four DDs and saying, ooh, yum, dinner. Along with the Kremlin and Ohio in the battleship front. So the Kremlin's definitely going to be following the Yami and just bowing and challenging. So they've gotten rid of one of their Venezias, which I think is smart on the side of a Yame. The Zeds loving it. There's going to be islands that, that both Zeds can park behind, and they're going to be able to get some value for it. Let's see if they split up, and it looks like that's what they're doing. All right. Well, we do see if we're trying to look at some initial deployments coming out of KSF, we have a Z-52 heading toward the Bravo side and looks like it's going to be matched on the others, while another Z-52 from OnlyFans Borla is heading out wide to Charlie with a Harugumo. Harugumo could split split the difference and catch between two Z-52s, choosing if he wants to help at Bravo, help it, or help at Charlie. Well, we've got a Moskva, Venezia, and Yamato going wide. That's a really heavy push over on Charlie, whereas over on the A side, it's just a Montana of OnlyFans GM Schwartz. Oh man, that must be tough to say. And then Seriously. we've got Cable Guy kind of hiding behind an island, but looking to help for B, but not yeah. help A, as only LEGO Party Australia is even there to contest. They might be looking to give up A. And my first thought is, are we even allowed to say their full names? Because we have that ping from Conway in the uh, streamer announcement uh, saying you're not allowed to average advertise their names their their party. Name. Yeah. Well, look at this clever. But anyway, He's going to be able to get shots on Revenant yeah. B the moment so, Shuri spots him. This is going to be brilliant. The Z-52 is set up there to Hydro. If he spots Revan, the Kleber is there, as you said, to just chunk him, force him behind the island. They're putting a hard push of cruisers into sea. No DD over there, interestingly enough. But they have a mosque where they're going to shove up close along with the Venezia, the Kremlin, and the Stalingrad. So they are pushing with a heavy dose of stalinium over there at c onto the side at a you've got the daring which is sitting back he's looking for the torp angles right now um but you have the moskva pushing up and the ohio is just floating along waiting to drop 457 millimeter shells on anything that shows up and there's the action z52 yep. is spotted Count counter hydros and clever is just waiting revan is going to he's yep yeah, there it is 6k down yeah, big shells coming out. Z-52s both running away, doing the little DD dance as they wiggle their bottoms at each other, running for safety. And looks like they are both out of the cap and trying to juke shells. Cable Guy firing a few shots out super wide at a Moskva of Mizuhana, ignoring the Z-52 stuff in the center as more shells come from the Z-50, from the Ooh. Venezia of Wombat. Makes a connection, Ouch. about 10,000 shaved off in a single clump. And you have to love the trade in the middle if you're the side of uh, Yami, because you spent 2k and you took off 4k, almost 5k off of Revan. That being said, the Z52 shifting out, I'm interested to see where they're going to shove him. Is he going to go back into B on the far side now to make sure that he doesn't get uh, shot by the Moskva of balls? Or is he going all the way down to C and they're giving up B? Kleber and Daring pushing to A, so it looks like they're going to try to claim A and start ticking points over there. Once again, we see KSF with the Shima Montana basically taking a, a cap on their own. This time they are going to get a little bit of help from Cable Guy, but he is not pointed anywhere in their direction. He's looking for cross shots on B and C. Lego Party Australia actually has a uh, Torp coming in on him. Nope, he's able to actually dead out before, but he does find himself in between the little bowling alley as OnlyFans GM Shorts has some shells coming in. The Montana over at Alpha against two DDs plus a Moskva, Ohio. The Stalingrad of Cable Guy unable to render assistance as Schwartz is probably just going to be taking shell after shell. The Shimakaze of Lego Party Australia not looking to contest, but looking to spot instead and nothing more. So far, Charlie just kind of a staring contest. Nobody making any moves as Bravo has fallen to KSF and the points are slowly ticking over in their favor.
And this Moskva is not having fun right now. He's been getting chunked by that Venezzi all game. 22,000 off of him already. And Wombat is just enjoying sending shells at him all the time. He's got to lock in on that island if he wants to stay alive. Update on the points. We're looking at about a 50,000 health advantage on the side currently of a Yami. But the points is only separated by 24. So this is clearly still anybody's game. Moskva is still taking damage, but it's looking like KSF is going to be able to, to take B, giving up A, and this Montana, for the first time, is actually taking some big damage. He's down to 63,000 and is kiting away. Looks like Schwartz is ha has completed his gamer turn in front of the guns of the enemy Ayame, and Shimikaze of Lego Party Australia is being pushed by the daring of Ganser. Uh, Garing is not going to be able to detect the Shimikaze if unless the Shimikaze wants him to, but he does threaten him and push him back off. Shima dumps Torps and continues to run away as Montana shells come out and do not find purchase. A continuing to be in Ayame's favor, while B is held by KSF. And it looks like it's stabilizing at C. We've now got the Z-52 has moved over to C. And as I see, the Kleber of Ayami is pushing back towards B. But it looks like we're going to have a push in here at C. And we're starting to see that. I mean, you're not going to shove a Kremlin into the C cap unless you're ready to push. So I expect to see the Stalingrad coming around pretty soon. And the Moskva's found that spot where he can get angles on and shells onto the Venezzi of Wombat without taking too much damage. Torps out at the Z-52. Is Sheree about to take a Torp, or is he going to Skinny Girl? Skinny Girl is successful maneuver, and the Venezia of Akira Manade did take a Torp, though, so he is down to half health and healing. Harugamash about to eat Torps. One. Ooh. Ooh. Actually, not bad. That could have been way worse. Yeah. 10k off, though, is still no fun when you only have... You're at two-thirds health now for the rest of the game. Yeah, well, they're moving the Hirogumo out to be able to smoke up and potentially light this Kremlin on fire, but there's a Stalingrad in Moskva sitting there just waiting to radar him. Daring Shima fight happening at A, by the way. Daring Shima fight happening at A. Oh. Uh, it looks like Lego Party Australia losing a good 6,000 health off to the Daring, who is rapidly tracing in pursuit. The only help coming from Schwartz, over 15 kilometers away in a Montana, unlikely to be able to bingo a Daring from that distance. A still being held by Ayame, and Bravo is contested. The Kleber of Grey Gosto looking to push in against Ravon's Z-52. So far, they haven't made contact, but he is blocking the cap, oh, meaning Ayame oh, oh, taking... Oh, to interrupt, but Borla is getting absolutely eviscerated down at sea and yes i know that is the fifth There's time i have said it yep <laughs> oh kremlin shots or masva shots miss i think this is the end of borla mm, he's wiggling He's juking, he's jiving, shells coming in, fall left, right, center, and looks like the Z-52 is going to make it out. He's actually far enough that Cherie cannot spot him. He slinks away with only 3,000 health. No heal on the Z-52. He's going to be pushed out by Cherie and unable to come back in, even though it looks like Cherie is now taking shell fire. Big, uh, big changes, the Kremlin of Livnik has parked himself in Charlie and is contesting the cap. He's pulling fire from the Harugumo of Aussie Zeus, but they're going to have to keep focused on him, and as Cherie is able to turn away after having driven off Borla, that destroyer is going to be able to get into sea and take it. That's probably happening in about a minute from now. Mm -hmm. Well, and the bear has finally started engaging the Z-52 and B, and he's going to push him off, and it looks like Ayame is going to be able to take C, B, and A. Where are these points coming from if you're KSF? Right now, you you have to regroup. I mean, your Z-52 is down to our 20k health right now. He can't fight Cherie. He will lose that fight every time. Your other Z-52 is down 10k health in the middle, and your Shimakaze is also down 10k health. Your DDs need to regroup and play a lot more cautiously if you're going to pull this back out. Yeah, it looks like KSF is trying to rally as the Montana and Shimmy have just decided to land directly on top of each other. The Montana pushing heavily with Lego Parley, Parta, Party Australia, and the Shima is moving, making moves toward Alpha. Moskva Radar is going to be there to greet him, and a Daring that definitely wants to brawl if he can. But with the Montana being so close, that makes it kind of risky. Still, looks like Ayami has dominantly taken C, even if they haven't gotten the cap yet, and driven KSF all the way back to the C line. And the cap contest in the middle continuing to happen, but Ravon lost the cap to Grey Gosto of Ayame's Kleber. I will say, A is about to be capped by the Shima. The Shima's in there, and the Moskva doesn't yet have 
he just barely has the range to radar the uh, Shima if he wants to. But I don't see him doing it yet. So that's going to be A stopped, which means right now the points are holding steady at about 80,000, or pardon me, 80 points separating with Yame slightly in the lead over KSF. Well, OnlyFans Borla has finally gotten some reprieve from the Z52, but he needs to move up to be able to spot because you've got Cable Guy, the Harugamo, and the uh, Z and B relying on him to be able to shoot at Livnik. And it yeah. looks like it's spotted. Yeah, it looks like one of those torps from Asizu is, is going to connect to the Kremlin. Kremlin put his nose into C and tried to claim it, but really did take a lot of damage for the trade. He was unable to secure it, holding it instead for Cherie, making the long trip back. Cherie is now in the cap and about to lock in behind that island where nobody's going to get resets. That's going to be a huge full. Even though the Moskva is able to get the radar out, I don't see anybody able really to get the, uh, to get the lines on here to get a reset, but shells are out towards Cherie. And it looks like we've got uh, Daring pushing Montana Shima while they were briefly able to get a Daring has been spotted and Montana is able to get a big hit 5k, but there's Torps heading in his direction. And Cherie's not quite able to take it right now. The Hrugamo does just have the ability to get over that island for as long as the radar is going. But that radar is going to be ticking out soon. And with no Des Moines in the game to keep that 50 second radar going and just the short radar of the Russians instead. Now Cherie's just going to smoke up and he's going to sit quietly and happy in the cap waiting to finish it out. Oof, big Yamato shells rip into Livnik as he's turning to try to get out and recover some form of health. Dips down to about 3,000, but the heal carries him all the way back up to 10. Some shells out from the Venezia do not connect as the Kremlin's able to disengage with over 13,000 health. Meanwhile, Seed does fall to Ayame. That's two caps to one. Granted, both caps are contested for A and B. Still, Ayame is going to start ticking up points and get back to that 40-point commanding lead that they had earlier in the match. Well, it looks like Montana's taken one torp from the Daring, and the Daring is going back into A. Ohio is on this Montana, as well as the Masva. I don't think Schwartz Whoa. is... Yeah, I don't think he's going to be living for much longer. Uh, shots out for the Mosca. Is Kingsman going to finish him off? Oh, <laughs> Montana goes ahead and fires, thinking he's down for the world, down to 53, and the Daring opens up, looking for that last little golden BB to connect. More shots up from the Moskva. That's going to be the kill. Go. That's going to leave a Shimakaze on Alpha with no assistance. That's not a way to take back A. Looks like KSF is staring at three caps that they do not control. How do they get in? Well, step one is these torps that are going out on the Stalingrad. Do we hit any of them at Raimu that's sitting there trying to hold the spot between the one. islands? You take one. one, but you still got a commanding position that you need to get him out of there. Um, but I mean, with a 60,000 health differential, that is big. That being said, the Venezia, if the Stalingrad has to back up again, the Venezia will have an AP broadside on him. We'll have to watch. But I think the push is going to come at sea, and that's where the challenge is going to be. Well, there's nothing stopping this daring at A to just gun down Lego Party, push him out, which is going to allow your Ohio to swivel over and your Moscow to be able to push down. And once they kind of get that all encumbering oh. look on the backside, oh, Zed goes down. Another Zed takes a big chunk. Yes, that's brutal. Yeah, KSF down yet another ship. That's going to be leaving them only three destroyers remaining, and none of their destroyers have a lot of health. They're going to need destroyers for caps, and they don't have them, and you start seeing the panic button has been pushed. Shadow Wolfish pushing forward in a Yamato, the Yamasco of Balls moving forward, trying to claim some attempt at space, but in simply eating withering Venezia fire for the trouble. Cherie, however, being spotted, shells coming in, dunk him down to 10,000, more shells coming in down to eight. Is he going to get him? He's trying to pull away. Maybe if he can get around the corner, he'll be able to take this. But he gets the torps off towards Shadow Wolfish. Looks like he's going to be taking two. Might actually take another two more with that follow-up salvo. And with the fact that this is an almost 500-point lead, the, I mean, the health differential is ballooned to 120k. Reven, Reven is down to under 1,000 health. As GP and I say all the time, GDs and spotting wins you games. And, I mean, that's all gone from the side of a Yami right now. That's all gone. And Shadowfish does go down to the Torps. Just enough. Oh, sorry, that was the Kleber Torps. Kleber, is he gonna get the double strike? 
Oh, and the Kleber, he trades his life, but he does pull off the double strike, and that, I'm pretty sure, is going to do it. I don't see where they come back from that. Double strike and sweet dreams, indeed, declared from a, from a French Kleber, as that takes down two ships and Charlie that was actually claimed in the KSF's, KSF's direction, but in a minute and seven seconds, those points are going to tick over, and Ayami is going to close out game three. Unless we see a ship going down, Ravon taking shells at 800, but they do not connect. And I mean, the Stalingrad right now, Darren Ganser is so confident. He's just open water gunboating. There goes Revan. That means we have 17 seconds left, ladies and gentlemen. And with that, barring a miracle here, that will be Ayame going through to the next round of the loser's bracket. Still fighting for a chance to go to internationals and claim a portion of that 30,000 US dollar prize pool. GG, well played to both of these teams. It was a phenomenal series, but Ayame comes up just a bit better absolutely that was a hell of a game hell of a match and game prodigy what do you think was one of the most influential plays that really locked that in for ayame because they just seem to be in such a lead for such a period of time like there was a point some tipping piece in that match where it became dominant where was what? that well, I think when when the the Z fifty two charged and actually was able to to take OnlyFans Borla down to five k, that basically eliminated the spotting, which meant the Harugamo no longer could could um, easily farm. The Venezia had nothing to shoot at. I mean, they they had an advantage at A and by charging with that Z fifty two, which is risky because if that Z fifty two pushes up too far and gets deleted. Now, all of a sudden, that push is being reversed on you. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was just a phenomenal set of games, and it, it always comes down to DDs win your games. Oh, without a doubt. And, you know, <laughs> we, we've, we've seen some Kleber tonight that uh, was a little questionable. And then we just saw Kleber take down two ships and decisively, decisively kind of put the nail into, into the coffin of KSF. But they've had a good run. They've come all the way from uh qualifiers so you know you can't be mad about top 16 